Hey, my SVG peeps. Last time I showed you how to make blobs. Today we'll demonstrate three practical web design use cases. We'll use blobs as a background, a section divider, and an image mask. I'm assuming you made or have an SVG blob. I'm grabbing one from my website, svgbackgrounds.com. Then to simple blobs, there's some free ones. Select one and export it, and we're good to go. The way to place a blob as a background is the CSS property background image. Converting the SVG to a data URI is more convenient than uploading and linking an image file. Link in the description. You'll likely need to specify background repeat, no repeat, because repeating the background is the default, and we no longer live in the 90s. We can center the blob with background position center, prevent clipping with background size contain, and keep the content within the blob by adding padding. To create a section divider with a blob, use the background image property again, but prepare the SVG to extend outside the view box. Position the SVG towards the clipped edge. For example, we could bottom align the blob with background position bottom center. Choose either contain or cover as the background size based on how the SVG fills your container. Finally, match the blob's color with its neighboring container. We can mask an image with the CSS property mask or clip path. We'll opt for a CSS mask because it's simpler and offers better control over the size and positioning. However, we'll need the vendor prefix for Chromium browsers. In this example, we have the image, the position which is centered, the size to contain the SVG inside the image, and the repeat set to no repeat. We've covered three ways to use SVG blobs as backgrounds, shape dividers, and masks. Do you have a different way to use blobs? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out when I release SVG freebies or videos. Hit subscribe or visit esvg.com.